their best to bring to the table. Obviously, Beast, one of the premier Pokemon trainers uh, that you will see for sure. And then uh, Gentis, Pilot, and Pichu. Don't get to see Pichu as often as you might like to back in, uh, at least in this new meta, man. But for sure, Pichu can definitely still do some damage. And we're on PS2. You love to see it out here. Very cannon going on between Beast and Gentis. I know Beast also has a wolf that he's worked with before. Currently, obviously, rocking the Pokemon trainer. I saw him popping off in pools earlier when I was uh, hanging out with Lyric in the back there. Now going to be able to see him try to work that magic here on stream. Because like you mentioned earlier in our block, he could be a little nerve-wracking sometimes. He's got the jabs, though, right out of the grab. Let's him go just slightly. But this is a Pichu that we're talking about. You highlighted Pichu and the differences that Pichu brings when it comes to this meta. And, and with the DLC characters, obviously, making their appearance in the last few years. Pichu, obviously, being that light character could be so difficult. Not just helping out your own survivability, oh, but you're your own double-edged sword when you're I jumping around a character. I swear, like as soon as you mentioned the lightness, the like Charles, I was just like, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> up smash, toss him out. And that's all she wrote on that one. And you see uh, Beast just going to work right here. We got a real Pokemon battle brewing for sure, an appropriate stage at that. But it has been completely one-sided thus far as Beast is dominating Gentus. See the attempt from Gentis though to try to go for that edge guard. The Ivy though coming in from Beast, obviously to be able to get right back to the stage easier. Got to be worried about sometimes those downer hitboxes, the upper hitboxes. But that is to say, if you can even get back on the ground before making that swap over the Charizard, gonna be able to negate a lot of that knockback in general. Swapping over to the Charizard when it comes to trying to land better. Oh wow, really just putting that flame on there. Okay, goes for another big time. Oh, nicely done, fine. Great conversion there into the Thunder. Again, Pichu. Oh, okay. Obviously going to be able to take some liberties with that, given the great recovery length that Pichu has. Oh, Beast really wanted that roll in. <laughs> you saw him getting ready, spacing that out. That's something that Jitsis could actually keep note of when it comes to trying to roll away. But you got to do that mix up real quick, because Beast is also going to know that he's going to try to stick a little bit more further away, trying to roll back. Oh, oh nice. that's the up yep. air. Such a big up air in general, but it also covers so, so scary. Much, like. Yeah. We talked about it before with Rob's up smash in general on those platforms, but Ivy's basically right there when it comes to the space coverage that that up there could help. Yep. Oh. Nice. All right. A little bit of, still a bit of a battle brewing right now. Pichu, one, or excuse me, 26%. Those electric moves, those good specials for sure, but always coming at the cost of doing some extra oh, percentage. No. And yeah, that's the, that's the thing about being lightweight right there against one of the big bodies in the game being Charizard. He just extends that tail, man, connects that back here, and that's all she wrote. Put him to sleep quickly, man. Beast, strike it. Especially if you're able, as Charizard, to get that back here from so far away. Gonna be able to chase down a, a character like Pichu, like you mentioned, not just lightweight, but also, you know the bread and butter that Pikachus and Pichus really like to do is that T-Jolt to try to negate their space away yeah. from trying to edge guard you so that way you can try to safely make it your way back. But that quick reaction though from Beast isn't gonna really allow him to even get that T-Jolt out in time. Oh, we're already going in for the loops real quick. That is Fruit Loops this morning. That's a cereal, but the immediate swap up into the Nair tries to get the back here, which would have been very scary, especially looking at how far they were close to that horizontal blast zone. Oh, good catch. Nice. Yeah, Jinx is definitely going to be uh, need a good little bounce back here, man. Has to kind of rally because that, I mean, that was just such a convincing win from Beast in that first game, man. Let me let you know who oh. the, the, the premier Pokemon is in this game, and he's got three of them. For sure, Magentus, hold up now. Making some plays as oh, well. Oh, let's go, and okay. And I like that, not letting the Charizard be the bully this time. And what I really liked most is that Gentis didn't allow that mistake on the up B from Beast to go unpunished. Not only fully capitalized on forcing Beast to be on the left side of the stage, but it even ended up in Beast's own stock with that forward smash. Kind of Beast maybe feeling a little bit of that pressure going in now. Mm. 137 right now. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I was going to say, not going to take too much to finish that one off. Beast understands that, so not going to allow that lead to get out of control at all. And then Sporto, of course, the low percent man is so good at just stringing together oh, these early percent combos. You just see it right there being put on full display. Even beautiful to, to know that that platform was also right there to help out Beast so he could go for a quick reset. He's going in now for the jab lock, sending him over to the other side. But Jinta's actually answering right back with a jab himself. But another jab lock, but actually ending up right behind Beast. Mm. All right, taking the lead right now. Nice. Going to try and threaten with the Thunder Beast, though not falling for it. 
Ooh. A few razor leaves trying to clear him out. You gotta be super careful right here. That, I mean, right on time, bro. That that was the perfect time to get that switch in. And Gentis trying to pressure Ivy, but ran into Charizard out of nowhere. And how quickly the tables have turned. Oh, oh. nice! Again, muscling his way through right there. That would have been disgusting, too. You saw that Beast was trying to go for that cheeky up beat again. He got punished for it before, but now Beast has made his way back onto the stage. He gets another one of those up smashes. He's at 133. He wants to help out his own survivability. That's why he hasn't really swapped up yet. Not in between some of these hits that we saw before when he was able to claim that second stop from Dintis. Oh, no. The upper chase down, sharking him from right underneath that ceiling. Well. There you have it. Beast was smooth on there. I'm not going to lie. With those jab lock Beast, setups. Bro, Beast is good. Not Beast only with good. those jab setups, but yeah. then he was also able to call out the jump from ledge very often. He had a plan with the Charizard a lot of times, too, to try to not only did he whip up that one upbeat, but he stuck through it when the opportun opportunity was there because he was at a high percent. He had rates to work with. Really good play here from Beast, and just was trying to trying to find a way to actually contest that in that second game. Did a bit of a better job, but this is what we're talking about. He even air dodged, knew the up smash was coming, but this is Pichu that we're talking about. You already had committed to that one fair. You're in that close range. Of Bro, the look Charizard. how happy he is! Look how happy he is <laughs> until the until he realizes. <laughs> The sweet approach of death is so near. <laughs> He's so happy, bro. Oh, my God. He looked like he was still smiling he even was. when he gets sent to the past. Smile bro. through the pain, Pichu. Smile through the pain. <laughs> it's hard when Charizard's neck weighs more than your body. Oh, I know that's exactly what Void has done in the past. <laughs> when it comes to dealing with the Pichu stuff. 